Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Diana in the kitchen and on today's episode, I'll be making a Jamaican favorite. All right, introducing Mr. Oxtail, aka Expensive Bone. All right, so to get the baller rolling with this, what we're going to do is pair our marinade. All right, so in this we have some freshly blended green seasoning and it comprises of some onion, escalion, thyme, as well as some garlic. And in this, I have some blended seasoning, but I'll put the exact measurement and the ingredients in the description box below. In here, we have some grown pimento, some paprika, and I also have a half teaspoon of adobo seasoning. And of course, we're going to need some browning. You can use whichever brand you like. And the first thing we're going to do, or what I like to do, is just to add all my seasoning to my mix. All right, so when I do it this way, it gives me more control, especially as it relates to the salt content. All right, so this way you can taste your seasoning to ensure that it's not too salty prior to placing it on the meat itself. Because, listen, oxtail not cheap. And this is one thing that you don't want to have excessive salt. It's way easier, guys, to add salt than to take it out. All right? So to this, I'm also going to add about a half tablespoon of browning or caramel, as some people call it. All right, and at this point, I'm going to taste and adjust the seasoning if needs be. All right, so I just tasted this and this is perfect. So what we're going to do is to just pour this over the oxtail. All right, so just make sure you get that all in. And all we're going to do is just to mix until everything is combined. And as you can see, we're going to need a bit more browning, but I prefer to add that gradually to achieve the color that I want. All right, so we're going to add another half tablespoon of this and continue mixing. You can use your hands for this guys but I don't feel like getting meat on my hands right now or you can use a glove and just go in with your hands all right so this looks good and the only thing we're going to do right now is just to clean up the sides. Clean up the sides and we're going to add some cling flim. Just ensure that you secure this tightly over the meat and we're going to allow it to marinate overnight. All right, so. I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dana in the kitchen and this is clip number two for my oxtail video. All right, so it's the next day, which is Sunday. And what I did was to remove the oxtail from the fridge about an hour ago, just so it can come to room temperature. We don't want to be preparing meat that is 
cold because once that hits a hot pot it's going to contract and it will result in a, in something that's going to get tough all right so i have mr ox right over there so chilling so what i'm going to do right now is just to put the pot to heat up we're having really wet water right now i'm going to insert a clip right here and while the pot is heating up i guess you can see exactly what outside is looking like guys so the pot is really hot and it has actually gotten up to a smoking point so we're going to sear off our oxtails right now I have less than a tablespoon of oil in this pot you don't want to be using too much oil because you know that oxtail is something that is pretty fatty I removed majority of the fat off this but it still has a decent amount of fat on it so we just need a little oil in the pot all right so when you're doing this don't overcrowd the pot all right because once you start to overcrowd it then it's going to begin to sweat and it will defeat the purpose of searing so we're going to let these stir on both both sides on medium high heat for about a minute or two per side. Alright, so it has been a minute and we're just going to flip them over. Alright. Right, so we have that nice caramelization going on right there and what I'm going to do is just let this go for another minute and I'm going to repeat the same process for the remaining of all right so I'll see you guys once that is complete all right guys so this is the final set and We're just going to flip them over. Pretty much done. Alright. So what we're going to do right now is just to return the rest to the pot. And we have some hot water that we're going to add. Alright, and you want boiling water just so you don't have that cold water going in. It heats up much quicker for one. So when you use that, you don't have to be waiting on the pot to be going in boiling. So you need enough boiling water just to cover the oxtails. And for this, we're going to use the water to rinse this out as well all right so we're going to cover this and let it go for an hour you can choose to put it in a pressure cooker but i'm just going to let this slow cook and while it's slow cooking I'm going to be working on the other components of today's dinner. All right, so I'll see you guys in about an hour or an hour and a half. All right, guys, so it has been an hour and a half since this has been going, and it is soft. It's actually pretty soft, much softer than I thought it would have been. This part has basically started to fall off the bone all right so 
what we'll be doing right now is to add our remaining ingredients and for this we need some carrots or beans and we're just going to give this a stir all right and everybody know that for oxtail the best part about it it's the gravy all right and for that we have some nice thick rich gravy going right here so we're going to add some bell peppers and we're going to allow this to simmer all right just allow it to simmer until the carrot is cooked All right, and if you're hearing a sound over there, I am frying some chicken to go with my dinner. Everything else is ready. My veg is ready. All right, guys, so it's that time. We have our oxtails right here. Finish, nice and tender and juicy. Our gravy is thick and listen this is all natural gravy when I was cooking I added no water at all for the one and a half hour that this cooked for all right and I also did not add any starch I just allowed it to just simmer to get this nice rich gravy all right so my rice and peas is finished I have my last batch of chicken that's frying right now so I'm just going to let this hang out for a bit and when everything comes together I'll plate up and serve and show you guys exactly what my dinner will be looking like all right there you have it all right there you have it guys this is my finish meal and everything is looking wonderful all right let me know down in the comments how you guys prepare your oxtail and if you're willing to try the way i do it all right so until next time this is diana in the kitchen don't forget to like comment share subscribe and of course click on that post notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video until next time this is diana in the kitchen Thank you so much for watching.